Today, we're diving into an important decision for anyone starting or running a business. Should you operate as a sole trader or a limited company? Both structures have their benefits and drawbacks. Let's break it down and help you decide which structure is best for you. First up, a sole trader is a self-employed person running a business on their own. The business and the owner are effectively one and the same from a legal perspective. A sole trader has complete control of all business decisions and any profits after tax are yours to keep. However, it also means that you are personally responsible for the debts. This is known as unlimited liability. The benefits of being a sole trader also include simple setup and administration, and there's no need to file your accounts with Companies House. You have full control over your business, but on the downside, it may be harder to raise funds or expand your business with limited investment options. Next, let's look at a limited company. When you create a limited company, this must be registered with Companies House as well as with HMRC. A limited company is a separate legal entity to its owners, and so owners have limited liability. This means you are only liable for the business's debts up to the value of your shares. A limited company is often seen as a more tax-efficient business structure, but this is not always the case. It's important to seek advice from your accountant. So, the advantages of a limited company include limited liability, potential tax efficiency, and greater credibility with customers and investors, with more lenders and customers willing to work with the limited companies than sole traders. However, you should be aware that it is more complicated to set up and there is more paperwork and admin responsibilities, such as filing annual accounts, confirmation statements, and reporting other ownership changes with companies house. Deciding which structure is best for your business will depend on your unique circumstances, personal views, and business plans. It's always possible to change business structure, whether that's incorporating your sole trade business or dissolving your company to work as a sole trader. While the decision appears simple, having a comprehensive conversation with an experienced accountant is essential for making the right decision for you and your business. To contact a friendly professional today, head to our website using the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Drop any questions you have in the comments below and we'll see you next time.